My orders are to observe the ruin, not help you mount a suicidal rescue mission. Then you can observe me kicking every fetching cultist's ass standing between me and my little brother. Who are you? Another of these useless Leowin layabouts? No, you're an adventurer like me. Don't tell me, Zigira roped you into this mess too. My little brother and I answered a job posting seeking adventurers to help explore a newly discovered ruin. Only once the expedition got underway and we were all split up, our employers turned on us. I barely got away. Free my little brother and the others before something terrible befalls them? I don't know if I can do this on my own, but I have to try. Can I count on your help? Or were all the questions just morbid curiosity? I can pay if I have to. There were five, in addition to me, who got duped into this. My brother, Liam, Eolaf, a Nord warrior, Adia, a high elf researcher, Dejos, an Argonian scout, and Galor, a wood elf adventurer. Other than my brother, I don't know a lot about them. Not much. Zagira, the woman who hired us, was charming. I didn't buy a story that her expedition was for study, but she paid half our fee up front. I figured they were just treasure hunters looking for plunder. We had no idea they were a cult. About the time they said, don't kill her, we need her for the ritual while trying to wrestle me to the ground. Probably saved my life, though. I fought twice as hard knowing they were taking it easy on me. No one else escaped that I know of. We didn't get far with our expedition before things went sour, but the ruin was in pretty bad shape. You'll need a grapple bow to get anywhere quickly. Fortunately, I have a spare. They're simple enough to use, if you've never tried one. Just line up your sights with a suitable anchor point, release the bolt, and get ready to fly. Don't worry, they're pretty much designed to do all the work. The worst you'll have to worry about is underestimating the pull and spraining your neck. We need to reach the base camp, but be careful. I saw a lot more cultists during my escape than the ones who led me here. It wasn't like this before. We should hurry. The bridge is out, but that support looks sturdy enough for the grapple bow. The base camp? That's Yolov. One of the other adventurers Zagira duped with a setup. They've got him strung up like a new life pony gua. Survey stones my ashy ass. That's a sacrifice if I've ever seen one. We've got to do something. Zagira had us escorting her scholars around the area to place those so-called survey stones. Supposedly, they would get the layout of this place in an instant. Bunch of guadung, clearly. It's sucking the life out of him. I damn well plan to try. It'll be dangerous, though. For Eolaf, most of all. That ritual is already feeding off of him somehow. The sudden shock of destroying the stone might kill him. We could try weakening the ritual before ending it entirely. 
That terrain by Yolof seems to be the heart of the ritual, but the magic is being drawn to another focal point nearby. Destroying that might lighten the load on Yolof, and the backlash of ending the ritual by force. It's the best chance of saving him. We need to stop that ritual. The sooner the better, but... Yolof's chances of surviving go up exponentially if we try picking it apart carefully, instead of smashing the central ray right at the start. The grapple bow should help us search around. I don't know it. I'm making an educated guess. Daedrology is my main field of study, though I tend to avoid getting caught up in their worship and rituals. Mostly, I'm fascinated why anyone would join these fetching cults in the first place. I took an interest in the anticipations of the Tribunal and my ancestors' worship of them before the Three rose to Godhood. Dark Elves aren't the only ones who revere Daedra alongside Divines, but now's not the time for a philosophical discussion. Endure, Nord! The foothold is nearly complete! Voice! Takira! afraid would happen. The strain of snapping that connection to his soul was too much to take. If we aren't more careful, the others will meet the same fate. It was definitely a Daedric ritual, but not your typical sacrifice. Offerings to the princes are usually quick and brutal. This was much more purposeful. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish, but they were using Yorloff's soul to power it. The Switz didn't tell us much of their plans before stabbing us in the back, but I've got a rough idea where they were taking the other stones. If we head out the other side of these corridors, we should be on the right path. Journal. It belonged to Ardia. Well, I'll be. Ardia actually made a break for it. She's the last one I'd have expected to escape. Two left feet, that one. Much as I'd like to believe she made it out, somehow I doubt it. Honestly, I'm impressed she made it this far, but my gut tells me she's still here. I think we should keep looking for the rest of those sacrificial stones. Whoever's still bound up in the cult's rituals is in the greatest danger. It's getting to the point that I hardly recognize this place. It's like the sky is on fire and everything's scorched. Did the cult come here just to destroy this place? That hardly makes any sense, but Daedra worship too often doesn't. It's possible this is all just a side effect of the ritual, not its intent. 
Who knows? Maybe their magic isn't just feeding on the souls of those they've captured, but everything here. All the more reason to stop them, quickly. is more drastic here. Looks like they caught Ardia after all. We need to free her. Free Ardia from that ritual before it drains her soul completely, even if it kills her. Still, we should look for focal crystals nearby that are drawing power from her. Destroying them is the only way to save her life and her soul. I mean, stopping the ritual prematurely might kill her, but there are fates worse than death. If her soul is drained entirely from her body, it won't be left to the mercy of the divines. It'll probably wind up in the clutches of oblivion. drawing power from the ritual. Let's keep looking. That's done it. Now, destroy the array. Come on, watch your step. I... I'm just a little unsteady. Experiences. It's why I got into exploring. Not that one. Never, ever again. Oh, I thought I'd never see that again. Thank you. I have a great deal to add to it now. I think it's good to record all you can, good and bad. It forces you to think about what you've seen and done. It makes you more mindful of how events shape you. Zigira was yelling at her followers about jeopardizing the foothold when I was trying to escape. I don't quite get what she meant, but I think they're turning this place into their stronghold. And I saw Zigira when they caught me, the real Zigira. Among her followers, she dropped the mask she'd been wearing. She's a Daedra. These cultists are the usual misguided fools dabbling with things they don't really understand. They're true believers. I'll never forget how they howled for her adulation. It looks like Ardia will be alright. Hopefully she can make a successful escape this time. I can't be certain, but Dijo, Scarlor, and my little brother Liam are still missing. We have to assume they've been captured and bound like the other two. 
We need to stop these rituals, and not just for their sakes. I have a theory about the purpose of these rituals. The changes to the land, the sky, the blasted heat. I think this place is being overtaken by another plane. If I had to guess, I'd say it's becoming the Deadlands. I think this ruin isn't actually part of Nern. More like a piece of our world bottled up, and the cult is trying to fill the bottle from another source. Soul-shriven. I've read accounts of this happening, but I've never seen it myself. This ravaged body is all that's left of Galor. His soul gone somewhere far worse. This is what will happen to the others. To my little brother. Right. You're right. This isn't the time to lose it. There's still hope for the others. Galor couldn't have wandered far like this. There must be another ritual site nearby. Let's go. This is it! And they've got Dijos! wasn't the only one by the look of it. the rest. That'll improve her opinion of me. Well, my kind. But I'm glad. I wouldn't wish what happened to poor Galor on anyone. Liam. Hang in there, little brother. We'll find you. We seem to be getting close to the heart of the cult's plot. Other than the ruins, the terrain here is unrecognizable from where we came from. I'd wager that's where we'll find him. And Zagira. No. I don't care about that hooded viper. I just want my little brother back. But if she stands in our way, I'll gladly kick her fetching ass back to oblivion. Come on, Liam needs me. Sakira, give Liam back and maybe I won't fetching kill you. Allow me to
Sakira, if you think a little lava is going to stop me, you've got another thing coming. I'd never see you again. You can inform your worthless legates that we stopped the cultists. No thanks to you. Just be grateful your little dispute didn't land you afoul of the law. Cease your meddlesome trespassing while you're ahead and get a real job. We did it! My little brother is safe and that backstabbing viper Sagira's plans are in shambles. Oh, I almost wish I could see what Dagon does to her for her failure. But my imagination's probably better than his anyway. We leave this useless wit to his report and count to Zora's lucky stars. My little brother is alive and well thanks to you. That's more than I could ask. We owe you. If you ever need anything, and I mean anything, you can count on me. I should get word that we're safe to our parents as soon as possible. I, I hope to see you again soon. And Liam, straight to Leowen, you hear? I just want a moment to catch my breath and thank your friend here, Mother. Shh. 